Because I mean, you know, like some animals, they specifically have adapted to eating bones like hyenas and like those uh, bearded vultures that they just, they only eat bones. They don't and eat elephants. meat. And elephants? Yes. Eat bones? <laughs> Is that what you said? Because or did the, you say the increased that, mass? Of, of course. Or are you saying that? Or or are you saying that the vultures? I'm saying I'm elephants? saying you don't go on safari because the elephants will eat you. Because you were well, full of bones. Because right. they're eating bones. They, they, they specifically they love the bones. That's why humans were hunting them for bones. Initially, it was a you know way of getting them back. Yeah. And then humans took it too far the way humans do. Yeah, we always take things too far. Yes. That's yeah. Well, that makes sense. I mean, they well. Here's the thing. I know what it is. Actually, it's that they need the bones to make more tusks. You know what I mean? Make the tusks longer. <laughs> that's how that works. Yeah. So right. that, yeah, here that's you go. probably it. It's actually a cultural thing. They don't really need the bones, but they literally uh, whittle additional bone onto their bone oh, okay. as a way of demonstrating their uh, combat prowess in the wild. That makes sense too. <laughs> that makes sense. <clears throat> So the um, hyenas and the lions and stuff know how badass they are. Exactly. Yeah. No more bone for Ruby. I scooped the marrow out with a butter knife and she got all the good stuff and no shards. Cool. Thank nice. You. Kevin, can Talk you stop the recording it. for just a second? <laughs> Is there a way to stop the recording for a second? Uh, maybe. I can, yeah, pause. And wow, there was an amazing thing in this while we were paused briefly. It was great. And we'll never yeah, we get are. it back. I hope you're happy. <laughs> should have, we should have just left it going. Yeah, we probably yeah. should have. Well, anyway, uh, w once again, this is uh, Condor and Crows. What is it? Petrifying Pirate Borg? Petrifying Pirate Borg. I forget what we, forget what we Borg said. Show? I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I like anyway, it. So, so this episode is, uh, four this is, of three. Episode four. Yeah. yeah. Um, and if you've, if you've been watching along, you'll notice... Uh, that there is no episode one by design. Um, and by design, I mean we just didn't do it. We just didn't. I thought we were do... going to go back in time at some point and then do episode one. Well, yeah. When the technology right. is there. Exactly. Right. Whenever, you know, the Since technology, that makes whenever sense. Elon Musk stops being an asshole, I mean, that's and what decides I was to so never. invest in. So you say so never? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. never. Anyway, so uh, when we last left off, the boys were in the lighthouse. They found the lighthouse keeper. Um, he is not in a good way. He has snatched up Chris's character. Uh, and everyone was deciding what they were going to do about it. Or if they were going to do anything about it at all. I don't know. Maybe nothing. <laughs> Maybe burn the place down. Yeah. So here's the thing. I think I'm going on there. The only things I really care about are my bottle of with the boat and the little tiny folks in there, and my gun. Yeah. <laughs> Were you ever uh, insured for fire damage? No. Well, that's no. <laughs> <never. laughs> the whole I I could you know what I I'm not gonna do it. But I just want to say, like, the whole insurance game is a fucking racket, and I think it's bullshit. Insurance oh, is bullshit. Is. But don't. But I'm not gonna. You know, I'm not. I'm not gonna get started on it because I also don't know enough about insurance to go into a lengthy <laughs> diatribe about it. But it's bullshit. That's all I know. Anyway, so yeah. So are you? Yeah, going kind to, of. Are you guys thinking about just? Well, here's the thing, Chris. I'm going he, in, man. You're gonna go in. Yeah, I'm going in. He he he's gone anyway. He can't tell me to come after me or Not don't come me. after me. So I've got yeah, armor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He can't. So, did I say both? I don't know. Whatever. Fucking. You know what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Well, <laughs> uh, also, I want to say since Derek isn't here, um, I'm going to say that he ran downstairs to alert Corey and Beatrice about the situation because Corey didn't know what was going on last time. He was uh, repairing um, right. Beatrice's crab arm. So I'll say that he runs down 
upstairs to warn them. And yeah, thank you. I learned. Yeah. Maybe he'll help. I mean, that makes he sense. Was, like, I don't he did just me. meet you guys. He did just well, meet you guys. So he doesn't really have any loyalty right, to you yeah. necessarily. Although he's taken from a big brood sack. So I don't know. Well, yeah, like say, we rescued him, but that doesn't mean. And really bad at making armor. So he could spend the entire time just trying to make his own armor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm going to say that that's what he did because he was trying to make a crab shield last time. Right. So he's like, hey, there's trouble brewing. And, you know, I and should then get he prepared. Just... And then he spends the entire time doing it. Yeah. And he just starts <laughs> fiddling around trying to fix that nice. crab shell into a shield. There we go. I like it. So that's what he's going to do. And so next time when he comes on, he will have a new. Not bright and shiny because it's pretty crusty, but a nice a crusty crab solid suit. crab shell shield. Crusty yeah. crab armor. Crusty crab suit. <laughs> nice. Crabs are all crabs, crabs Hell yeah. are a perfect organism. We will there's all that whole one day be with, crabs. Well, yeah, well, there's a whole thing with like carcinization or whatever, where like yeah. different creatures have like evolved to a crab's body plan because it's just really efficient. Yeah. But oh, it's not really that all things eventually turn to crab because, like, I mean, all of the animals that have done that have been crustaceans anyway. So, I mean, it's not as drastic as, like, a tree frog is like, you know what? I'm going to morph into <laughs> just a fucking crab shape. But that would be cool. A that would crab, be cool. A frog crab? In a billion years, we'll maybe. find out. Yeah, maybe. That, that might happen. Yeah. Um, all right, so so Evan, you're going to just you're gonna charge yep. up the stairs. <sighs> yes, fucking hell. And Chris, and Chris, did you have a torch, or did someone else have the torch? Um, I don't think. Oh I don't... yeah. Wait, how dark is it? You're speaking it's of. You're dark. sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to. Oh, you're you're fine. Yeah. Um, um, I don't think I was <laughs> holding a torch. No. Someone had a torch because I maybe Aaron did you have a torch. I had a torch. But I thought yeah. I dropped it for some reason, but oh yeah, we have a lantern. Somebody had a lantern. Yeah, I have torches. Yeah, you can tell um, I'm really I still good. have torches I'm really too. Good game master, paying attention, you know, to all these details. <laughs> uh, anyway, there is a weird little say. Okay, so Aaron, I'm pretty sure well, multiple people have light sources, so it's not really that big of an issue. But I'm pretty sure that Aaron, I think that when you got yanked down the stairs, I'm pretty sure you dropped a torch. So. Um, so, because your shell got stuck on the barnacles, uh, and they had to pull you down. Um, yeah. So, I'm gonna say that there is a torch laying on the stairs right now. It's illuminating a small area. It is um, lit. Okay, cool. cool. Yeah, it hasn't gone out. So, yeah, um, as long as I'll just pick it up, honestly. Okay. Right. Yeah, and so you see all the, you see all the barnacles with their little fluttery, feathery. Yeah. Candles flickering around and they're clapping right. you bastards in anticipation of your flesh so as you yep. if you're going up the stairs make an agility test <clears throat> agility eh um fuck where's my fucking okay. unless you just want to charge Sorry. up and just rely on your armor to protect you it's up to you that is that is basically what I was imagining is that I'm oh. just gonna fucking do it you know okay so I will and rely case, on my armor. Yeah. So in that case, I will roll <clears throat> for damage, and you roll for your armor. Um. So that okay. way, we'll just get that out of the way instead of having to make check. Okay. So. Um. That's a D six. So that that is a three, and then a minus one again for the hat. So it's really it's a four. Okay. So I roll four, so you take no damage. You just. You just nice. are, like running up the stairs and your armor is just like you hear it like shells breaking up against your armor as you're just fucking right. up. Just and they're just like clattering. Just elbowing and fucking <laughs> Yeah. Fuck off. Shoulder checking them. <laughs> yeah. Fuck off. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So um what's everybody <clears throat> else doing? Are you guys are you guys coming after him or are you uh, uh or are you still Toby, yeah, Toby thinks this is a good idea. All right, so I'm going to follow Toby into the area. Okay, so since Evan cleared the way, essentially, like, you guys don't have to make agility tests to go up the stairs because the barnacles are all fucking broken, and 
I mean, there's some that are still attached to the wall, but they're just, they're dead. Basically, they've just been crushed or ripped free. So they're just broken pieces of shell with the with the feathery tendrils just kind of laying limp. Um, are there any that are still moving? Bar some of them are like barely quivering, but right, they're going to reach out and touch that one. Are you going to zap it or are you just going to yeah. touch it? Yeah. Okay. All right. You electrocute it and it fry you you smell like fried seafood, but not good seafood. It's like oh. it's like a it smells it like, like hibachi. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't smell like hibachi, unfortunately. Although I've heard that you actually can eat some barnacles. Um, but they do not look like something that would taste good at all. You know? Right. I would you try can... it. Basically, seafood yeah. you can pre you can safely pretty much eat most of it, as yeah. long as like if it's not cooked or nothing, like as long as it hasn't been like seen out or like in the refrigerator for a couple days or something. Yeah. If you just yeah. pull it out of the water, you can basically just fucking stuff it in your mouth and eat it if you want to. I wonder if it would taste. I wonder what it would taste like because it is a crustacean. Um, yeah. And but then if you think because you you I I think the instinct is like well it probably just tastes like a crab but then again a lobster does not Wait, taste like a crab I don't think no. barnacles are crustaceans they are crustaceans yeah they are they, they don't look like crustaceans they look like just a fucking no they look like they would be like, mollusks they look, they look like, like they yeah they look like a mollusk like but they are but they are crustaceans hmm. um all right we're, are, are, Kevin are you fact checking them. real quick to make sure I'm just curious. You should. Well, you should. That's I mean, a yes. I, you know, I would. I would not want to be spreading. They are crabs. actually related to crabs and lobsters. Check that out. But I want. But I. I bet they taste like their own thing, though. I bet they don't taste like. Oh yeah. Uh, I bet they don't taste like either. Or or even like crawfish don't taste like don't taste like lobster. Don't taste like crab. You know. Uh, do they not? Food. And I've shrimp. And shrimp fish. tastes completely fucking different. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah kind There's of. That's the whole thing. And prawn, and, but 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 weirdly, prawn and shrimp kind of taste the same. You know, I don't know. Anyway, so what I'm hearing is uh, I can eat this thing I just cooked. So I'm gonna eat you it. You can absolutely if you want to eat it. You totally yeah, can. I eat you, it. Ate, you ate raw crab meat before anyway. <laughs> yeah. So I, I eat the barnacle. Okay. okay. So since you, I'm gonna say since you cooked it, you're not even gonna have to make a toughness test. So you just eat it, and it doesn't. I taste eat it. Keep going upstairs. Crab. Just munching yeah, on it, it. You eat it. It's not as good as the crab, but. It's it's food. Do uh, <laughs> you have a light source or no, or are you or are you hot on Evan's trail? So like I'm just really following his path of destruction. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Aaron uh, and Corey, <clears throat> what are you doing? Go ahead, Aaron. Also, Aaron, remember you had your skeleton. <laughs> um. I'm I'm gonna. We're going up you the could, tower. So right? you could have your skeleton roll in lamp oil, set him on fire, and then make a light source. <laughs> Don't listen to this guy. <laughs> I'm not saying you, you should fucking roll <laughs> barnacles off the oh, off the sides of the wall. Well, we, not raw, cooked. Electric. We should probably, more fun facts. We should probably be careful with the fire, guys. I mean, there's a lot of lamp oil here. Yeah. Um. That's very true. I don't want to go near it. Like, yeah. I feel like That's I'm a little uh, So we're either going up the tower or we're leaving? Or out the door. Yeah. I'm going out the door because I already got stuck once. Okay. Are what are you gonna are you gonna have the skeleton just go with you? Because then if you don't if you don't tell it what to do, it's just gonna follow you basically. Yeah, he'll he'll just come with me. Okay. Yeah, the skeleton just follows you, and like as you guys are just standing there at the door, he's just kind of standing there looking at you, and then like he just kind of like looks down at the floor and like kicks he kicks around like a little piece of like a little rock fragment that's on the floor, just kind of you know. Oh, um, and and since you have already been through here, and you can kind of take your time, uh, I'm not gonna make you roll an agility test to get past the oil again because you know it's there, so you can kind of just carefully take your time getting through the doorway um okay so uh so yeah that's fine if you want to stay behind 
that's fine. You see, you see, Derek just he's he's got a knife and he's cutting out all the like the meat that's still inside the crab shell, and he's trying to fashion it into sort of a crude shield. And he okay. just like nods at you as you walk past. Okay. Um, I might just stay with him while he's doing that. Uh, okay. Instead yeah. of like, he doesn't really seem like he doesn't really seem like he's in any hurry. Actually, he's just like yeah. you know what they can handle it. I I don't want to risk anything more. My turtle is really cowardly. He's That's cowardly, fine. but he has his his moments. Yeah, I, he did yeah, stab the crab last time. Yeah. And he, I'm gonna, and, kill, and I think he killed sense, one of the man. barnacle beasts too. So I mean, you know, he has to have his moments. All right, what what are uh, Crossburn and Beatrice doing? Yeah, I hear some ruckus upstairs, right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna. She's fixed up. We're all good, correct? Mm-hmm. I'm saying let's. We gotta go see what's going on. Come on. Okay. We're gonna make our way up the stairs. All right. So you start heading up there and uh, you see all these broken shell fragments and it's pretty stinky. Um, everyone else has already made a toughness test from smelling this nasty, foul smell. So you go ahead and make a toughness test too. Beatrice doesn't have to. She's a monstrosity. It doesn't phase her. 11. As soon as you open the door, just this horrible rotten seafood smell just wafts up your nostrils and you thought you had puked up all of your stomach contents when you ate that bad crab but you were wrong but you wait, just, there's more yeah you just puke all over the steps you're just holding your guts and it, so you're sick um uh, for the next let's see the next two minutes so you have a negative one to your checks because you really feel green around the gills. Um, so let's jump back up to Chris before we get to Evan. Chris, you were yanked violently up the stairs uh, in the darkness and you don't, you can't see anything, but you feel this, you felt like a quick, like a amount of pressure and you felt like liquid all around you and for a few moments you couldn't breathe and then suddenly you could but you can't uh and, and you feel like you're just like in, you're submerged in some sort of fluid um i have like freedom of movement in the fluid yes hmm. but you can't see anything at this moment I have anything on hmm. me that would be useful in this situation? Do you have any omens for toughness? I, I don't think anybody's out of I don't think anybody has any omens. None, none of us has any omens left. No. No. You, could, you could dump the contents of your little bottle into the liquid. Mm. <laughs> you could. That's a possibility. Set the ship free. I think my musket's not going to go off in, in liquid, is it? No. Shit. No, All have right. Dry, you have to have dry powder, man. Yeah. Well, I got an axe. I'm going to start swinging the axe wildly trying to look for a membrane or something. Okay. Um, make an attack. Make a strength test. <clears throat> Ah, shit. 11. Okay. So you're swinging the axe, but you feel like the, the liquid that's surrounding you, it's like there's a lot of resistance. You're not really, you're not swinging full force. Um, and it just, you just feel like you're just swinging blind, essentially. Well, you literally are swinging blind. <laughs> so, no change. So, so, Evan, as you reach the top of the stairs. You do see light from the 
glass of the lighthouse. Um, and you also see this gigantic shell surrounded by a lot of smaller um, shells and like these a, sort like of... mollusk shell? Yes. Um, okay. And uh, and there's also this sort of like stringy mucus on the the windows of the uh, of the lighthouse. Um, but as yeah. you step up, you see the smaller shells open, and there there is a gooey sort of looks like kind of like a big egg. But it's very similar to the sap that Derek was in. Okay. Um, that there uh, are yeah. <clears throat> there are five of them, and um, as they all open, all, four of them open, and you see inside is it looks like some sort of like sheep like creature. Um, and then in the fifth, when the fifth one opens, you see Chris, and he's suspended in this goo, and he's holding his axe, and he's like moving around, but he's his movements are kind of sluggish. Okay. Um, um, I will approach kind of slowly walk watching the floor. Okay. I don't, I don't want to, uh, yeah, I don't know, step in something or trip on something or, you know, yeah. but I want to, yeah. I want to go over there. Okay. <clears throat> you walk forward and. The big shell starts to like slowly open, and it just looks like a huge. As it's opening, it looks like like a big beak that's opening, very similar to the barnacles that are that were in the hallway, except for just massive. And the insides of it are kind of like jagged looking. But as it opens on this <sighs> long, hairy, scabby-looking stalk, emerges the torso of the blind lighthouse <gasps> keeper. Fuck. Okay. Oh, buddy. Okay. What's he, he doing? He lifts up and he he coughs, and it's very dry at first, and then he like pukes up some foam that lands on the oh, ground, God. not at not at you. It just kind of dribbles out and okay. goes down his body, and his like tongue okay. sticks his tongue out. He took, sticks his tongue out, and it just looks so dry. And he says, "Boys, I thirst." He says, I'm yeah, so you sorry. mentioned that. He says, I know, I'm honey. so sorry, but you don't know. He said, you'll never know what this is like. You are correct. I will never know. And the stock, Because we're going like, to take care of this. <laughs> it stretches up all the way to, like, the ceiling and then bends, like, bends forward, almost like a gigantic, macabre, drooping, fleshy, chitinous flower. And he's on the end of it? Mm -hmm. Fucking fuck! Okay. I don't like and this he, ugly thing. Okay. <clears throat> and as he as he does that, the other bags of fluid, the four four of them pop, and goo just leaks out. And emerging from the goo are these malformed sheep. Like we, they come out. They have they have heads of sheep, but they're Bodies are encrusted with barnacles, and then they have, instead of just normal hooves, they have crude, like, human-like hands with ho hoof nails. And some of them have, like, one of them has, like, three three limbs. It has, like, arms like a human, and then has one back leg like a sheep with, like, a tiny, cr like, vestigial-looking um, crab-like kind of claw mm -hmm. uh, leg, I mean. And then another one comes out right. and has just all crab legs. Um, one comes out Flesh. and only has one, and one comes out and has only one large arm that looks like just a combination of a human's arm and a crab claw, and it just drags itself forward. Oh. Um, and then the the, the final one uh, comes out, and it's it just looks like a sheep that instead of having wool, it just has bar jagged barnacles. All over its body, and its face is like half human, half sheep. <clears throat> Does anybody have any fire or bombs or oil? <laughs> well, That's I've got this torch. 
they, when they all turn emerge, back around they, and just burn this place down. Yeah. Yeah. When they yeah. all emerge, they Maybe. when they all emerge, they just <laughs> scream in unison. Oh fuck. And with that it'll be initiative. <laughs> all right. All right. So I'm guessing Let's odds do this. Hell yeah, odds. Obviously. Odd boys. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I rolled a two. So <laughs> okay. unfortunately, <laughs> once again, it has failed us, but that's okay. So <laughs> once again. <laughs> so Evan, the um I always say of, evens. <laughs> so so Evan, <laughs> the, the the crab sheep that has just all crab legs, it pukes on the ground and then it just very quickly skitters up to you. And mm. tries to bu- tries to bite you. So make an agility test. Nat twenty. Okay. Uh, Wasted you, it. You definitely <laughs> avoid yeah. it, and you get to make uh, a, make a free attack against it. Okay. Oh fuck yeah! Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, I'll take that. No, right. That 20. is. It is not, but it's pretty good. Um, what do I add my strafe bonus to that? Mm-hmm. Well, it does. Well, what weapon 20. do you have? I forget. What weapon it's do you have? A har- I, I, I have a harpoon and a cutlass and a boarding axe. Sweet. What one are you using? Harpoon. Okay. Its name is oh, Skewer. Okay. Roll for damage. Patrick Skewer. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one, actually. <laughs> uh, fucking D8. Here we go. Oh, God's damn it. Hold on. It's around here somewhere. It- uh, that's a five. Okay, so you, the, the creature skitters up to you and tries to bite you with its nasty sheep teeth, but you manage to step out of the way and you sort of welcome its charge with your harpoon and stab it. Yeah. Uh, however, you you stab into it and pull away and you do see blood, but it's thick wool and crusty barnacle yeah. shell body protected. Natural shell. armor. Yeah, it it shrieks at you and blood spurts out, but it's still, still going. <laughs> basically like basically you stabbing it like it felt like you were it was a it was as if you were stabbing chain mail basically. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Okay. Next sheep. Uh, another sheep runs up. Come to at you me, bro. And tries to bite you. So make another agility test. That is an eleven. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go so with preoccup- probably a <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were so preoccupied with the other sheep that you didn't even you know you were your guard was down, and it runs up to you and bites you in the shin. Uh, but roll for armor. Right. Um, that's a d six. Four. It bites down, and you feel the pressure Fear. of it on your on your shin, but it doesn't penetrate your armor. Um, Kevin, grieve, son. Nineteen. As you you, uh, you reach the stairs, and you see this horrific shit show, and some horrific homunculus like <laughs> cheap man barnacle shrieks and flings its body at you bearing its yellow teeth it snaps its jaws as you deftly slither out of the way however another one with a huge crusty limb drags itself across the floor and tries to butt you with its head make another agility test that is a 18, 19, 21. All right. You're just too fast. He flings himself forward and and you easily dodge out of the way. I question um, Toby's life decisions right now. Uh, so you guys avoid the sheep. Um, the lighthouse keeper still just kind of dangles there for, for a few moments, just moaning sadly and in pain. 
Uh, he doesn't act this turn. So now it is you guys. Um, well, so, Michael, I don't know, they didn't win. Okay, never mind. So, Corey, you make it to the top of the stairs and you see all the shit that I described to Chris. Or, I mean, to describe to uh, Evan. The barnacle, the sheep, the whole shebang. Uh, I want to have the run up to the lighthouse guy and try to snap off his head. Okay. Uh, remember, she gets two attack rolls. She gets mm -hmm. one with her normal claw and then one with the big crab claw. Claw? So make it. Hole and snap. Yeah. Um, so the make a presence claw. test, but remember, you have a negative one because you're sick. Yeah, that's fine. Because I'm sick or she's sick. You're sick, so you're not. So you have a negative one to all tests because you just feel like shit. Okay. Just, you're, so like even you issuing commands, you're like trying to stifle your your vomit. You know, you're trying to get it out. Yeah, exactly. Seventeen. Nice. Sixteen. You're like me. Pinch his head. Yeah. Am I? Yeah. She so got roll a, a D, roll a D eight for damage and roll a D four for damage. My D8 is three, and my D4 is three. Okay, well, I have bad news. So you you issue her, your commands. She goes, <laughs> just runs at the creature, flings herself, and tries to grab onto his head to crush it. And as soon as she lands like on the part of his shell he retracts with like alarming quickness and closes the shell so she just hits the shell and it, the armor protects him so now he's like inside sorry right. <laughs> um, every, everyone else who wants right, to go next I will set down Toby and try to stab the closest sheep thing twice okay And that is a 12, which is a hit for me. And D4. And I got to roll for armor. Yeah, not expecting a whole lot of this. Let's see. Uh, first one's a four, second one's a three. Okay. So, okay. So, uh, the one that lunged at you, you just stab it. You try to look for a place between the, the shells to stab your knife, and then you stab, you skewer it with both, and it screams, just an, an inhuman and in-sheep scream. Um, you pull the knives away, and there's a bluish, well, more of a purplish color, a combination of red blood and blue blood mixed together into a nasty sort of uh, like caustic looking fluid. Um, but you do stab it and it is hurt, but it's not dead. Okay. Uh, who's next? Felton. Evan or um, Chris? Well, Aaron. Aaron, Aaron went went, he, he stayed down. He went outside. Oh, yeah. Dang it. He literally went outside. He's outside right now, right? I've been outside the whole <laughs> <Yeah>. time. <laughs> he's been outside the whole time. Yeah. His secret Ooh. is he's always outside. Um, I'm going to try to swing again. Okay. You can now see, by the way, like you, you, uh, you see your friends. Did do me a whole lot of good. I got a 10. I got, Still, you're I got just kind of, you, you're swinging and it's just like, the fluid just slowing you down. Your chopping motions are not That's very effective. Like punching somebody yeah. in a dream. Yeah, <laughs> it makes and your skin feels very tingly by this oh. this fluid. Um, good tingly or bad tingly? Bad tingly, not good. Okay, kind I want more, to kind of more like it's having like starting to have like a numbing sensation, right. sort of. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt you.
Go ahead, Hoss. And see if I can, like, obviously, if anything attacks me on the way, I'm going to fight back. Uh huh. But, like, I want to get over to Chris. Okay. Um, if you want to try and make it. Past, and how far, like, across the room? You can run there, but you're going to have to make an agility test to avoid being, like, to avoid the sheep. Um, but you can, you can get up there and, uh, you know, presuming, presumably, if you don't, like, get stopped by them, you can right, right. get to him and, and then try to, you know, free him or whatever. I can make it. Yeah, so go ahead and make it agility Okay, test. yeah, that's what I, obviously, that's what I'm, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, three. Three. Okay. So you're trying to make your way around the sheep that are just trying to swarm you and your friends, and you trip over one of them and almost fall down. <laughs> you, catch, you catch yourself, and but it, it slows you, and you don't quite make it over to Chris. <laughs> yeah. All right, then. <laughs> so Lord. with that, so with that, it will be the sheep's turn. Um. So. Make an agility, make another agility test, Evan. As the sheep you bumped into tries to bite you. Nineteen. Okay, it tries to bite you in vain, and you manage to just kind of push it. Pull tries out. to go up against you and just kind of push it out of the way. Um, <laughs> Kevin, that's probably, I assume that's the one I bumped into. Is the one yeah, that tried yeah, to bite yeah, me? Yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Kevin, make an agility test as the sheep that you're tangling with tries to uh, bury it nasty feet. Okay. So the, the sheep that you stabbed uh, lunges up and you move your arm to try and protect yourself and it bites you with its nasty yellow teeth uh, for two points of damage. Um, so armor that's even that's a d2 so no it doesn't okay <laughs> uh but make a make a toughness test that is a 14 okay all right um the next sheep tries to attack Corey. so Corey, make an agility test oh my god Four. Okay. So while you're commanding Miss B and trying not to puke everywhere, you feel something slam into your back. Uh, for one point of damage as one of the sheep headbutts you in the back and you hear your back crack like it pops, uh, but not in a good way. Yeah. And you, you stop yourself from falling over and you turn and look and see this nasty fucking thing just you have no uh, armor at all. I do. You do have armor. You do. I have light armor. armor. There yeah, you go. So roll, that should at least be D two. Yeah. So roll a D. So actually, well, okay. Well, never mind. You have hide armor, so you don't. You have armor on, and it only dealt one point of damage. So your armor is gonna yeah. negate that. But but it does push you forward a little bit, and you like turn and see this nasty thing bearing down on you um and uh then there's one more sheep um let's see who is it gonna attack thank you kevin i forgot that i had armor armor is useful and Corey, like make another that. ability test oh uh, <laughs> sorry especially hey, important I, when, I, they, I when you're getting mauled by multiple attack. sheep 14 okay so uh, the, another sheep lunges forward at you, but you manage to get out of the way. Um, now, uh, as B is standing on the shell of the lighthouse keeper, the shell opens up and the stalk comes out and he tries to grab her. So, Corey, if you want to scream out a cry to get her to try to not be grabbed, um, make a presence test. Yeah. Eight. Remember, you have a negative one. Huh? So seven. Seven? Okay. So she's like banging her, her claw and her fist on the shell, and when it opens up, 
she's like kind of surprised and he springs forward and wraps his surprisingly strong arms around her waist and pulls her into the shell and she's trying to stop it from closing and it just closes and they're just kind of the shell's kind of like wiggling around um, to where, are you gonna take that start? he's running off with it your woman you turn. it's you fellas turn <laughs> all righties well i'm gonna have to uh lady. yeah i'm gonna have to well okay am i close enough to try to cut chris free um no because the sheep stopped your Bitch. progress moving forward um, which you can try which is closer am i closer to him or am i closer to the scuffle going on uh with beatrice and the lighthouse keeper you're closer to like, Chris than you are to the lighthouse keeper and the and Beatrice. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to do that. I'm going to take that next two or three steps or whatever and try to cut him out with my uh, with my cutlass. Okay. Go for it. Do I make like an attack roll? Uh, against yeah, make, it, or? Like, make like a normal attack roll. Um, like a okay. Okay. Right on. Um, the uh, fifteen. Yeah, you um slice into it. Uh, roll for damage. Three. Okay, so you slice into it. It's very like thick and gooey. So when you pull the colors mm -hmm. away, like the membrane gets cut, and but the ooze inside it is like just very slowly dripping out. It's not okay. all, it's not like ruptured or anything. So you do right. some damage just, to it, but it's not. It's broken, but it's not pouring out. And he's not right. perfect. He's not free. Right. Yeah. Okay. 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 I want to try to hit that, that axe to side. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Use it. your axe to just like cut that area. Shit. <laughs> Oh no! Okay, that's a seven, not a one. Okay, <laughs> seven. So, okay, so you're swinging and you're just—it's just you feel that tingly sensation. You're not able. You're trying to get the axe to hit that spot, but you're just—you feel strange. Uh, make a toughness test. Different dice this time. Damn. That one is a one. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm going to get Come my on, charger. Man. Oh. Okay, so you're not so feeling the, very good. The weird juices from inside the membrane start to just sort of numb your whole body to where you can't really start to like sort of paralyze you. So you are paralyzed for four rounds. God damn. I'm sorry, Chris. Hey. It's the way it goes. It's the way the barnacle crumbles. Um, so now, uh, Corey and and uh, Kevin, what do you want to do? Can Beatrice fight her way out of like the cram? She can, but she can't. She can't follow orders at this moment. Um, so you can't command her right this moment, but you can do something. You can act. In some other way. Okay. Well, I'm going to run up to it and just smack it with my axe and try to okay. get it to okay. unfurl or something. Yeah. Yeah. Make a strength test. Oh, oh, bah, 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 bah. 16. No. Yeah. 16. You hit it. Um, roll for damage. For damage. Okay. Uh, so you have the boarding axe, right? That's what you're using. Yeah. Okay. So just in a rage, at because this creature, you know, has Beatrice, you slam the axe down with all of your might, despite feeling like shit, and you see like the axe kind of bounces off of it, but then you look, and where you hit. The shell's cracked. So 
you're doing some damage to it, but it's, you know. Good. Good. Yeah. So you got through to it. You got through its armor, so it did take some damage. And you see, like, a little bit of, like, purple fluid is just kind of starting to drip out of the out of the shell. Progress. Yeah. Kevin, what do you got to do? I'm going to stab at that sheep again. And that's an 18. So it's get stabbed twice for four and one. Four and one? Okay. <clears throat> so um you end up like as it's you're kind of wrestling around with the sheep um and trading blows. It's like bite it's like biting onto your clothes and like pulling it away, and you get it to lift its its head up. And you see its throat is exposed and you just stick it right in the neck and pull away and this purple flu just gushes out and it like shudders and then falls down dead. Ha! Ah! So one sheep down. Three to go. Um, And then it's uh, that's everybody, right? That's you guys. And unless Aaron wants to, Aaron, you also still have a chance to, if you want to do something in the interim, you can. Or if not, if you just want to chill, you could do that too. I'm going to wait just a little bit longer. Okay. But All I right. might get a little curious here in a minute. Okay. Because what's taking so long? Yeah. What's the big deal? It's just an old man. Yeah, really. <laughs> um, so, uh, so, Corey, you see the shell open up. And the lighthouse keeper appears, but you don't see Beatrice. You do see him kind of spasm and shake, and he grunts. And out, like, beside the shell, this, like, gross orifice that you didn't see originally that's, like, right next to the shell, like, opens up. And this, this globular shell covered in slime that's sort of egg-like emerges. Yeah. It kind of just gets pushed out beside him. Yeah, and it's this, and it's big. It's bigger than all the the ones the sheep came out of. Um, and it, but this right at this point in time, it's covered in a shell that's very similar to his shell. Um, but anyway, uh, so so he's present again, so he is a viable target right now. Um, but uh, now the remaining sheep um are going to attack. So Kevin. Make an agility test. That is a 15. 15. The sheep tries to bite you. You. It's not your first sheep rodeo, so you manage to get out of the way. Corey making an agility test. Oh, no. Four. Four. Okay. As you're focusing on cracking, trying to damage the shell and free Beatrice, um, one of the sheep tries to clamp down on you. Uh, roll for your armor. Roll a d2. Yeah. I rolled a four and got a four. Okay, so two. It negates two. So the sheep bites down on your calf. Your armor protects you a little bit, but you feel its nasty yellow teeth kind of the pressure from its bite breaks your skin. Um, you take two damage and make a toughness test. Uh, John, you're me. I know, I'm sorry. 14. 14? Okay. All right. And then, Evan, are you back? Is Evan back? I don't see him. There's a Evan Steven. Here. Commodore. Steven, Commodore, are you there? I see him. He, he said he had to go get something. So we He's might just have charger. To, we might just have to riff until he gets back. Oh no! Wait, wait. He went. He got muted for a second, and then it unmuted. Oh, he's still muted. He's. Let's keep going. <laughs> okay. 
Well, we'll, we'll just because it's his turn, so I don't want to go. Oh wait, no, it's not. It's the sheep. What am I? It is the sheep. Saying? Yeah, the, yeah. The, so the sheep are going to attack him. I don't know Evan's stats, so I can't roll for him. Um, so I actually will just not make him be the target. So, uh, so since Corey got attacked twice last time, Kevin, you make another agility test. That's fine. As the sheep thirst for eel blood. That is a 17. Okay. But sheep are no match for an eel, so they miss. No. <clears throat> um, it is known. There he is. Okay. So perfect. Just That's in perfect time point. not to get attacked by a sheep monster. Yeah, just likely. Just in time. How convenient. Yeah. However, you're muted. You're muted, my friend. <laughs> You're muted. I can't hear you. He's gone dark. Well, buddy. No, I still we can't still can't hear, hear him. No. Keep talking. I'm assuming it's the... Keep Pearl talking, Pearl. buddy. Bing, bing. Yeah, we can't hear you. Bing, nope, bing, we got bing. nothing. Nope. Very headphone mute thing. I, I mean, I could just make up stuff. Hit a button. Hit a weird button. A weird button? Yeah, because so I get confused by like new headphones all the time. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely well, muted now. Yeah, you're you muted. Should be unmuted. Now. Well, okay, so to make well until um we get the situation um figured out, Corey, uh, you make another agility test as the lighthouse keeper. Nineteen. Okay, I was just say as he tries to reunite you with Beatrice, he he with with just a quick movement he snaps forward at you, and his arms rush forward, but you manage to dodge under it, and you smell his body as he looms over you. It smells fucking horrific. If you like, if you hadn't already thrown up, you probably would have thrown up again. Is uh, she but then still he, he inside of him? him? Huh? Is she still inside of him? No, she's she got passed out. That, yeah. that okay. egg shell thing that he shit out. Um, okay. So, uh, so he like rush. He fl flings over. Then he like the stalk like pulls him back. So he's he's still suspended above the shell, just sort of up towards the ceiling of the whole place. So um, it is you guys again. Your turn again. Well, I'm gonna run and slash at the, the the bee bubble. Okay, make an attack roll, strength test. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay, roll for damage. Come on, give me a business. A six. Okay. Um. So you slam the axe down, and it cracks part of the shell and fluid leaks out of it. You move like you brush it away with the the head of the axe and you can see underneath it is this gooey membrane and you can like vaguely see um, Beatrice's crab claw like beneath it. Um, Kevin, what are you going to do? I'm going to stab another sheep. Go for it. Go for it. Yeah. That is actually not a hit this end. That's a nine. Sadness. Okay. You try to stab him, but the sheep is jittery and skittering around, and you you miss it. Um, Did I fix it? Yeah, yeah there it. you are. Yes. I've been, I could hear you guys. Like, I, it wasn't my headset. I was. It said I was muted, but I don't know how to unmute it. So all I did was I left and I came back. Turn off, turn back on again. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yo, exactly. Turn off, turn back on routine. Get some every time. Um, so hitting so, it with well, a rock true. doesn't help, so I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I always have a loss if that doesn't work. Yeah, I never know what to do if hitting it with a rock. I, I mean I scream at it afterwards, but and that yeah. usually doesn't work, but sometimes it works. It's like, yeah, I like that. 
I'll you guys out. are like, I can see you, but I can't hear you. I'm like, well, fucking hell. I don't know what to do. <laughs> is this thing on? I don't, I, yes, exactly. I don't understand Zoom well enough, I think, is what's wrong. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, I'm back. <laughs> what you going to do? Chris got paralyzed. Which, well, you said you heard everything, so... Oh, well, I heard part of it, and then I had to dis, and then I had to disengage and come back in to the meeting, so I yeah. missed a little bit of it. Yeah, but well, the flu- um, the fluid inside of the of the egg is like paralyzing him. Oh, He's okay, okay, for, okay. So I'm still four. standing right about there. Did I get a, did I get bitten by a sheep? No, no you did not. Okay. They uh, tried to. Well, they technically you did, but. Uh, Oh, actually, you did give it. You have to make a toughness test. That's what I oh, okay. forgot. Do I have to uh, do no, my you, you armor? Didn't get attacked. I got attacked. Oh yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Yeah, I dodged right. him away while he was yeah, 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 doing yeah. that. Yeah, never mind. No, no, you didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, I forgot that Kevin was. Kevin got attacked. Kevin and Corey both got attacked twice. Yeah. Twice. Okay. Well, let's see if I can cut him out of there again. I'm gonna try that again. That's a, is it a strength check or an attack? Yeah, an attack uh, is a strength test. Same thing in this, yeah. yeah. So, and, and also, oh, oh, okay. um, since so it, I add my strength I, to my attack bonuses normally? Yes. And I should yeah, have okay. mentioned plus would be your bonus. Right. Well, I, I, I know mentioned... that's what it was in like D&D 5e, but like, I don't know. Yeah. Not everything. I should have mentioned this before, but uh, that these eggs, if you attack them, they're only DR10 to hit. Okay. Right on. So that's a 15 then. Okay. So uh, roll for damage and then I will. Oh, yeah. You just roll for damage because the, the once they're open, once they're cracked open, they don't have armor. Yeah. There's jelly. Yeah. I'm just trying to cut it open so we can fucking fall out of there. Five. Yeah. Okay. Um. So you. Slice it again and tear the gash open even further and more ooze starts to flow out faster, but the membrane is still holding mostly. Um, but uh, Chris's axe is like part of it is sticking out through the hole now. Okay. Do I, um, I, I assume I don't have time to do much more, right? As far as turn based is concerned. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just carry on. Um. Everyone else went correct, or no? This is a new turn. No, we. My brain been. is. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. My brain is yeah. as as usual, not good. So now it's uh the creature's turn. Um, yes. So, so uh, Commodore, you make an agility test as 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 you're hacking at this gooey blob. Um, one of the sheep turns its attention to you and tries to bite you. Agility? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Well, that fell on the floor. I'm just going to roll a different one. I can't even find it. Uh, <laughs> natural one. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I should have gotten to find that one that fell on the floor. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah. So, uh, so... All right. <laughs> um, as you're hacking away at, at, with the cutlass, mm. one of the sheep lunges forward and bites down on your hand hard, and you try to pull away. Um, but you take uh, well, roll for your armor. Yeah. Okay. Um. um dang. Okay, that's one. Okay. okay, that makes this even well. Worse. Well, so, I guess my well, I don't feel like my I have a metal hat, but I don't feel like that would help that much in this particular. Yeah, yeah. So it makes sense. Shouldn't I just ignore yeah. that? Like, yeah, okay. Actually, then it's a one. Actually, here's what we'll do. Yes, and because yeah, we'll yeah, absolutely. So uh, that makes complete sense with the narrative. So as you're hacking out with the cutlass, the sheep lunges forward, bites your hand. And you're you try to yank away, but it's really biting you down. Um, and <laughs> as it. you as you're pulling, um, you rip away, and you you realize that 
your pinky finger and your ring finger are now gone. And it all tore the off are my ragged, ragged stumps. Uh, uh, wait, was that my cutlass. was that my was that the hand that was holding the cutlass or the other hand? The cutlass hand. Fuck. Well, my dominant make a hand. Okay. Oh, okay. Toughness test. Mm. Toughness, toughness. Um dang. Okay. <laughs> Three. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll worry about that. I fall we'll unconscious. Okay. We'll oh, I look at my hand then. and pass out. Yeah, you, yeah. Well, you, you, you uh, actually, yes, that, is, that was not what I was initially um, <laughs> having you roll for, but that makes It was a sense. toughness test. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the shock of it, you don't faint, but you fall down. Right. Right. And blood is just blood is just gushing from your hand. Fuck. The sheet, the how much sheet, damage like, how many damage like how many hit points do I lose? What what damage what do I need to uh four damage. Um, okay. Okay. And the and the sheep is now just standing by you and it's just crunch you hear it crunching up oh, your fingers God as damn if it, it as if it were eating as if it were crunching on carrots. <laughs> That's not right. Holy shit, you know what I just realized? Your fingers Blech. got bitten off by a chimp last game, too. Yes, yeah. they did. <laughs> and I it was the same situation. I'm pretty sure it was the same situation. Like, you were trying to... It was like, kind of similar. It was a, I think you, <laughs> yeah. like, rolled a one when you were defending against it or something. And, like... It, yeah, and it bit me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On the hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of hand-related trauma in, in these games. Uh, all right. Apparently all right. so. So uh, now, Kevin, <laughs> uh, you make an agility test too. That is a 18, 19, 21. Okay, too slick. All right, now, Corey, you make an agility test. From what? Oh, goddamn sheep. Sheep? Mm-hmm. Eight. Okay. Um, as you are focused on cracking open the jelly egg containing Beatrice, Another sheep lunges forward and bites you. Uh, roll for armor. So I got two. D four, and I got a three. Okay. Uh, so roll for uh, you take one damage um, and make a toughness test. Eighteen. Okay. All right. So it's nasty teeth bite into your arm or bite into your arm, but they just kind of grate against your flesh. You pull away and you're like, ah. Um and uh now the life keeper his his body hangs there again and then without warning whips forward again. Now Kevin makes the jolly test. Nineteen. Okay. You smell the stink of the old man's breath as he whips forward and tries to grab you, but you're so quick that you just duck under and slip to the side. Uh, now it is back to you guys, but before you start, Corey, that shell from that you've been cracking at starts to open up, and now you can see it just met that jelly membrane that's holding in Beatrice. Okay. I'm going to pack up a thick tendrils and try to set her free. Okay. Make it just a strength test. And and um also Evan, if you like on your turn, basically if you like it would be a move action essentially, the equivalent of a move action just to stand back up. Okay, cool, cool. 17. 17? Okay, make a uh, make, uh, damage roll. Two. Two. Okay. You slam the axe down, but the jelly, like, you do, you do damage to it, but you, it's kind of stuck for a second, and you pull it out. It's like you just attack the big, like, container of of like fucking grape jelly or something. It just kind of makes a sound. Yeah. 
but you do see but you do see like some of the ooze like seeping out of it yeah am i still so, paralyzed yeah it's been two rounds so you just have two more right. um, okay so I, I can stand up mm -hmm. can i also in that same turn grab him by the arm and just sort of drag him out of there yeah make us yeah that's fine so um yeah you can make the strength test your yeah your cutlass is okay. on the ground next to the shoe <laughs> yeah bastard I'm like i can't feel my legs yeah <laughs> Um, uh, that's a 12. Yeah, so okay. you reach in with your other hand and grab a hold of Chris's arm and just pull him out. Nice. And he flops down to the ground as if he had been expunged from the womb. <laughs> and the next thing I'm going to do is go over there and help Corey, but I don't think there's time for that. Right now, yeah. Not, wait no. till since your since your move, or... yeah. Since right. your move was basically just like getting yeah. up, and yeah, your hand is just still bleeding, Fuck. pouring uh, blood. That, man. Yeah. So so you take one more damage as you're bleeding. Uh, five. Until okay. your hand gets tended to. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> um, what happened? Or just did I mean, did, like, it, and, did and anything happen when that... I stuck it in the goo to pull him out no, of there? I, well, I Nothing assumed happened? you grabbed it with the other hand. I assumed you grabbed it with the oh, other okay. hand. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I assumed that you were kind of like cradling it or something, or just at least not using it. You know, right. <laughs> directly. It's probably not... It's, it would probably be very uncomfortable to have used it right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, Chris... Um, Carry on. You since you've been pulled free from the goo, um, well, I guess it wouldn't really matter. I was going to say, I guess then you can just, uh, oh, okay, I'll say that you can act this round, but you can't, if if you move, like, you, you can't take an action and move. You could stand up, which would count as a move. Um, oh, actually, here's what it would be. You can either stand up and then take some sort of action, or you can stand up and move. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like you can yeah. do, you have two actions. Essentially, it's like you have two actions each turn. Okay. Um, I think I just want to reload my gun to get the goo out of it. I can shoot it soon. Okay. So uh, the problem with that is your whole body was submerged in this fluid. So, like, you're going to have to, like, dry out. You're either going to have to get new powder or dry everything out somehow because it's all gunked up right now, unfortunately. All right. Well, I'm getting up, and I'm going to be ready to hit whatever with the Zacks. Okay. Um. So, like, as my movement action, I'm going to... Wait, as my movement action, I'm going to toss up my musket and then go stab a sheet. No. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Good thinking. All right. Wow. Uh, Chris, make an agility test to see if you can catch the musket. Yeah, don't, don't get smacked in the face. On dice. Gonna do it. That's a natural twenty. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. There you okay. go. You do like the whole Bruce Campbell thing. Yeah, it gets, <laughs> the, the yeah. musket goes like flipping through the air and you just go <laughs> and grab it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hail to the king, baby. Yeah. <laughs> And let's see oh. if I can stab a sheep. That is a 13. Keep stab. Yeah, Keep roll for damage. That is a three and a three. Three and a three. Okay, let me roll for its armor. It's not rolling good for armor, so it takes uh two uh, well, four damage. Oh, oh, actually, okay. So um so you jam your knife into one eye socket of one of the sheep or of the sheep, and then you jam the eye or the knife through the other and just pull away and it just slumps to the ground. So you kill another sheep. Cool. So two sheep are left. Um and uh let's see. Corey, what are you gonna do? 
hammer back at the goo to get my best of B out. Oh, no. Oh, you already attacked, didn't you? You already went, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, Aaron, are you still going to be hanging out downstairs? Is Michael still going to be hanging out downstairs now, do you think? Or do you think he's getting impatient? Uh, he's Maybe getting impatient. Oh. Hearing Is a lot he of stuff. There's a lot yeah. of um, – well, here's the thing. Since you were outside – you can kind of like you're look like looking up at the lighthouse and you can see like move it a lot of movement you can see like up through the glass like it's kind of hard to see because there's this slime all over it but you can see shadows or like shapes moving mm. around up there so having a dance party and yeah <laughs> it's a barnacle <laughs> right clearly wow. i'm left out so i'm going up there okay so um if you haul ass through there uh make a I'm making a jelly test since you're moving quickly through the oil to see if you slip and fall. Um, and then I'll say not this turn, but next turn you'll be up there. Come on, man. As long as you don't slip and fall down. Or if you want, you could just like take your time in that first round too. Yeah, just like one extra just round extra. probably. You could take it, but like yeah. you know. That's I'll true. I'll uh risk it. I'm gonna run. Uh I've got a 10. Okay, so you run, you run through, you try to be quick to help your friends, you slip and fall onto your back in a stereotypical fashion. Turtle on his back. I'll just command your skeleton <laughs> to push you. Yeah, you could just have but you could have your skeleton Perfect. like push you. Yeah, just have him slide you up the stairs. Oh. Can't. Can I do that? Or you... yeah, no, yeah. Well, you can have you can have him help. He okay. You can command him to. Should he work. Can dra- he can drag you out of the room, um, into the room that doesn't have oil all over the floor. So I mean, and then you could just get up and then go and then be there in a round. You just want to do that, sure. Instead of comically flailing around on the ground with your with your limbs in the air, I think that'd be great. <laughs> Yeah, he just slides into <laughs> battle. Would be awesome. So, so the skeleton just very the, the skeleton just very cautiously walks into the room, grabs both your feet, and just drags you across the floor. Your shell like just this is kind of bumping up, bumping against the floor. And he pulls you in there, and then and Derek looks at you, and he just walks over to you and grabs your hand and helps you up. Oh uh, yeah, all right, cool, all right, um. So uh let's see. So now it is the creature's turn. Um so Evan, make an agility test, please. Agility. All right. Hold As on. the sheep that munched on your fingers is still hungry. Bitch. Agility? Mm-hmm. 11. No, sorry. 9, um, tw- uh, 21. I said it. I said the wrong. <laughs> 11, 9, 21. It's, ni- yeah. it's 19. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus 2. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. I got you. So 19. The sheep, the sheep screams at you and it launches itself at you and you just yell, fuck off. And with your hand that's not dangled, <laughs> you just push it away and it like falls onto its back and like and then slides across the floor. Um, <laughs> Corey, make an agility test. Sixteen. All right. The sheep that bit you before tries to bite you again, but you manage to dodge out of the way. Um, Kevin, the old man lunges at you again. Make an agility test. Nineteen twenty twenty one. Okay, he is just too old and blind to effectively grab a hold of you, apparently. Uh, So now back to you guys. Corey, you can see Beatrice kind of stirring a little bit inside the ooze, but she's kind of just, she's kind of twitches every so often, but she's just kind of suspended there. Man, it's like an eggshell thing, right? Well, it, it originally had like a hard shell, but then like eventually you hacked it part of it and then it just kind of opened up and now it's just like a gooey membrane. It's like the uh, the 
the viscous part of the eyeball. You're just kind of spouting yeah. into that eyeball. Okay. Tracked, I was yeah. I was thinking more of those silicone eggs that people uh, put in their butts with those alien um, uh, ovipositors. But I mean, but yeah, an eyeball. I mean, whichever reference what? works. You yeah sure. You yeah. what? I don't know what that is, but you know okay. It's I a, do not. No. It's a fetish that some people have where they, I think it's called glorping or something like that. Is it, or is that what's called glorping? That sounds familiar. Yeah. I think that might be it. It's, they have, it's like for people that have like a very, and they, and they lay these eggs. Is that what you're saying? They, there, there's like a device that you can, that's like supposed to mimic some sort of theoretical alien or giant insect, I guess, ovipositor. Right. And I don't know if you just, if someone with their hands just does it, or if it's like a threat, if it's strapped to someone, I don't know. But you put these slimy silicone eggs inside of the ovipositor, and then you put it into someone's orifice of choice, and then you okay. you squeeze it, right. and it, you know, and then you insert the eggs. Yeah. When he ends, is jello. Like, when he barely ends, Neat. I'm not going to feel bad about it at all. Uh, <laughs> I I okay. The more you know, so, and that's and that's yeah. what we're that's what these guys are inside is those little leggies. Yes, exactly. <laughs> right, yeah. I, I okay. get you. Yeah. <laughs> right on. <laughs> so, um, so, so Beatrice is in one of those things. <laughs> so Beatrice yeah, is in one of those. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. hit my axe at it again to get her the fuck out of that thing. Okay, make a strength test. Does not need to go into anybody's orifice. Oh, she already passed out of the orifice. <laughs> Nineteen. <laughs> okay, roll for damage. Uh, four. Okay, so you hack into the slimy uh, membrane and tear it open, and Beatrice kind of slides slowly out of it and onto the ground and she like lifts her head up and blinks at you and like and just kind of breathe just exhales and tries to stand and she like stands up she's just covered in all this slime much like Chris mm -hmm. <laughs> who now has a gun and can shoot if you would like oh damn I'd love to shoot at this old man who snatched me up yeah Right. Uh, 15. Okay, roll for damage. And remember, at this close range, it ignores armor. Hey, what? Mm, guns at this clo at close range, like, we're using this rule where if you use a firearm against someone in, like, relatively close quarters it ignores their armor. Yeah. Nine damage. Yeah. Nine damage? Nice. Yep. Okay, so you aim at the old man and you shoot and blow his left arm completely off. He sh <laughs> he shrieks and writhes and he he screams. He says, You motherfucker! You son of a whore. He says, May Neptune strike you dead. <laughs> And this nasty, <laughs> chunky, it's not even like, it. it's not even like blood. It's just like gel just kind of starts like sort of just curdling and dropping out of his destroyed arm. And he's just hissing and writhing around. What and you get? He... For... Sorry, go ahead. Oh, it's saying? what you get for fucking up my gun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so where, whereas before he like was sad and he was like, Seems like he, you know, regretted attacking you. Now he's just fucking mad. And he's just hissing curses at you, and all. And the sheep, the remaining sheep, are like very irritated now. They're they're just screaming. How many are left? Two. Two. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah, and the old man, and Beatrice is. She's I, free. I've, now. If we okay, I would say if we don't get her out of there, yeah, she's gonna. That, you guys were gonna turn into one of those things, whatever those sheep are. You were gonna, anyway. 
Now, uh, so is it our turn again? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. So um, Corey went and Chris went, and then now I'm going Andy. to, I'm going to throw my harpoon. How at this guy? Yeah, you can do that. Am I? Because uh, I'm not. I'm not probably not close enough to make a melee attack. Am I? No, because he's like up. Like yeah. His, uh, then his I'm throwing the harpoon. harpoon. Yeah, yeah. I've got I've got a rope uh which is wrapped on my arm. Okay. It's 30 feet. So obviously my range is no more than 30 cool. feet because of my yeah. rope is 30 feet. So that's a, yeah. But anyway. Yeah, you I don't can know. Definitely... I don't it doesn't it doesn't really say a range. It just says that I have to make an agility uh 14. Yeah, so basically if But it you doesn't ever... say my range, like how far like how many feet I can throw it. Yeah, Morkborg and Pyreborg don't generally Pyreborg is a little okay. more they they kind of have for certain right things on. they have ranges listed, but for more cool. board, like they're just like, well, it either does or it doesn't. Like it either is close enough cool. or it isn't close enough. So I'll tell you cool. in this situation, yes, you absolutely can throw it at him and, and potentially cool. hit him. Yeah, it says it says I have to roll. Um, well, it says ten, but I have to. It, it's plus. It's uh, negative four because of my strength or my, not my strength, my armor. So it would end up yeah. being fourteen. I, so I have to roll a 14 is what it is, yeah. uh, which is not – I did not roll a 14. <laughs> <laughs> which is to say – That's a nine. Okay. It's a nine. So, yeah, so, I missed. So you you throw the harpoon at him, and he's writhing around like an injured sea snake. So it, it the harpoon whizzes right past him, and then are you just going to, like, yank it back with the rope, basically? Right. Yeah, yeah, that's all I'm gonna so do. So he whizzes past him. He doesn't even notice that it happened. He just <laughs> is screaming and and clawing at his like stump where his arm was, and so it just sails past him. And then you just yank it back to your hand. Cool. And I'm gonna stab another sheep. Okay. And that is a fifteen. And stabity stabity. Ugh. That's a one and a one. Okay. Dang. <laughs> so you're trying to slice this <laughs> nasty sheep beast's throat, but as you're stabbing at it, it's like chain mail, like thick wool that's encrusted with barnacles. It's just too impenetrable. It like in in the only defensive measure you've seen this creature take, it like kind of tucks its like lowers its head down. So you're just stabbing at it. it's like really woolly and <laughs> shelled head. So just Um, and then so Aaron, uh, you will be there after this next creatures round. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, and but Corey, I will allow you to um, if you want to yell a command to Beatrice, she can attack. I do. I want to snatch that dude's head with a big claw. Okay. Eighteen. Okay. Um, roll for damage. D A. Fucking A. Okay. So Beatrice just goes berserk, and she jumps onto the sh the shell. Um, that, that's like open like that, and she digs her finger, her fingernails into his stalk, and pulls herself up. And as he's screaming around and cursing, he like he he reaches down with his one hand to try and grab grab her, and she just shoves his hand away, and just grabs a hold of his head with the claw, and he's he just says, "You fucking!" And then she just goes, and his whole skull just explodes <laughs> like scanners. He goes. Oh yeah, <laughs> and so like she falls down onto the other shell and like looks up, and the stalk just rides around for a second, and then it just flops to the side and like like shakes around, and then just withdraws into the shell that just like kind of clacks, but then it goes open like that. Yeah, <laughs> fucking dead. 
and she and she's just like standing here on the shelf and she's just like looking at her claw like this and there's like stringy bits of like pulp brain that she's just kind of going like that <laughs> i'm gonna walk up and yeah clean it off oh. like you're okay <laughs> I know you had a big time, but like it's okay, and like kind of like the down to your eyes. yeah. The remaining sheep, the two sheep, are just screaming, and like you see their eyes, their eyes like roll back in their heads, but they're not like they're just fucking pissed. Um, okay. So uh, now it is their turn, um, and so so Michael Shelps. On you on the next you guys' turn, you will be upstairs and be able to act. Um, so uh, but I will say this really quick as you're like heading up the stairs, um, you see you you hear footsteps, um, in the room that's like adjacent to or as you're heading up the stairway, you hear someone, it sounds like someone running up the the basement steps. But you realize that Derek is down there still messing with the crab shell, so you know it's not him. And the skeleton is beside you, so there's someone else that's apparently down in the basement, or was in the basement. They're getting ready. It sounds like they're walking up to the top of the basement. Okay. Um, but it, it's still not my turn to go right. I'm just thinking about that, like in the. Or yeah, well, you. I will actually let you act now in between if you want, um, in okay. between turns because you notice this as as you're booking it up, like trying to make it up the stairs. You notice this. Well, I'd like to run faster. Okay, you're just uh, gonna be like, "Fuck it, I'm not dealing with that." Yeah, I'd rather <laughs> with everybody because I'm screwed okay. around right now. <laughs> okay, all right. Fair. Um, okay. So you run up the stairs, and then when it's their turn, then you can go. Um, so now the sheep, the remaining sheep, uh, Corey, make an agility test. 18. Okay, the sheep lunges at you and misses, despite it being in an enraged state. Uh, ah. Chris, you make an agility test as another sheep tries to bite you. A uh, nine. Okay. So you're still kind of feeling kind of woozy from the paralytic uh, gel, and a sheep bites into your knee. Um, Would well, you have any armor? I do. I've got um, leather armor. Okay. So roll for your armor. Um, takes one off. Okay. Or no, so you only six. Have... Six is even. Two off. Okay. So, um, the sheep bites into the leather of your uh, pants, and it just shakes its head, and you feel underneath uh, your skin get cut. So you take one point of damage. Um, and make a toughness test. He bite me in the dick. I feel like he bit me in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. That is a well. It's in between. It's either a ten or seventeen. That's seventeen. It was closer, it was closer to the ten. Oh, it was closer okay. to ten. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, you don't notice any kind of apparent anything other than you got bitten the knee by a sheep. Um. Okay, so now it is back to you guys. Um, so Michael is now with you. The turtle man emerges at the top of the stairs with a skeleton in tow. Beautiful. All right. Uh, so there's one sheep left? Two sheep. There's two. Two? Well, I'd like to go charge at one of them, but... All I have is a wooden knife. Well, remember, you personally <laughs> don't have to charge. You have a skeleton. Yeah, you could you could direct the skeleton if you want. Do you have any other spells? I don't think so. Kind of a lame sorcerer. I... 
I was self oh, yeah, so the game. You are a beginner sorcerer, so I mean, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have anything right now. Um You do have a crossbow also. Yeah, but I don't wanna load it. Like I just wanna I wanna go at him. You can hit it with a crossbow also if you wanted to just smack it with the cross. But well, I don't know if that's Man. more damage than I don't know if that's it'd be a D two. Is that how much damage is your wooden knife? This is D four. No. Oh, yeah, use yeah. that. Yeah, that's or bad. or like or like they said, that's you not can too make bad, skeleton, right? Or you can or just, just make the skeleton, skeleton attack. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whatever you want to do. I'm. I'm gonna try to charge, but I oh. only got a one. Oh no. Oh. A natural you trip. <laughs> oh, hold on. Did you roll? Is does the dice say one or or did you? Was that with modifiers? I mean, is that with like a penalty? The dice says one. Okay, that one. All right. That one, yeah. So, so you you run over to one of the sheep, and you're like, you know what? This is my big heroic, you know, move, and you go and try to. Try to stab it with the um, with the knife, and you step in some sort of really slippery fluid, and start sliding across the floor into <laughs> the glass window, um, which breaks. So make an agility. T- make an agility test. <laughs> His first natural one, everybody. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, I got a two. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I heard you say you got <laughs> out the so window. You go flying across the floor, but you really like got some speed going. You were like ready, and you just go slipping across the floor, <laughs> and you're like, oh. and and your and your your shell crashes through the glass, and you go tumbling off of the tower. So, shit. Um, I'm really sorry. So, uh... <laughs> oh. How much HP do you have? I suppose uh, none of us were close enough to try to grab him or something, right? <laughs> I, I would say it last time because I had one. Okay. So you guys used your devil's luck. Yeah. Okay. So so basically, normally, um, well, not normally. That I mean these are just the normal rule. These are just the rules. So you're gonna you're dropped to zero, and we're gonna roll to see what happens because you might just be dead or you might something you might survive you know somehow so let's see let's consult the book i'm sorry aaron i'm i really am that's okay i'm learning chris like three (laughs) times yeah yeah people are gonna gonna die so roll 1d4 I got a three. Okay. So you got hemorrhage. Death in D2 hours. So roll a D2. Or roll any die. And if it's odds, it's one hour. If it's evens, it's two hours. So one. So So in one hour. um, You will die in one hour unless you're treated. All tests are DR16 for the first hour, which you only have an hour to live. Um, and yeah, so, so basically you went flying through the fucking glass, tried to grab a hold of the side of the, the, uh, lighthouse, but fell, you just somersaulting through the air and then a thud and then just blackness. Um, you're laying outside with a cracked shell, bleeding out, you can feel like bones inside of you are broken. Uh, you're not dead, but you are very nearly. Um, okay. So you are, so it goes black for a second, and then you, oh, your eyes open, everything's blurry, but you're laying there and just feel just completely fucked up and 
crushed. Like you just, everything hurts. You And like, as you're laying on your back, you're looking just up towards the sky. And, and you the only thing that you can see from the lighthouse tower is the skeleton is just looking through the glass, like, you know, <laughs> like through the broken glass. <laughs> down at you. Hey, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what he's like. <laughs> Awesome. Which, you know, I, I was just looking through the book at what they normally have for fumbles, which is uh, just that your weapon is broken or is lost, which I guess I probably should have just been doing that instead of my really cruel um, fumbles that I normally do. But I feel <laughs> like Natural I feel one, like you're this, gonna I feel like if you roll one, it should be more, it should be a big deal. Just because, just like if you roll a uh, critical, I usually make it be a big deal that you, oh, yeah. you know. So, yeah, it makes sense. I, I have a lot Those of house rules, I guess. It'll be fine. Every, every, you should always have house rules, man. It makes it work the way you're fucking, it makes it, you're able to, you know, be a DM better if you know what it you're doing. It makes it more dramatic, I think. I think it makes a lot more dramatic. Oh, that too. Be a lot um, so so anyway, you see your friend fly out the window. So what are you guys gonna do? Fuck. <laughs> I don't have any like help things to help him, but I am like a surgeon. Yeah, I mean, like you're a surgeon. He might be able to fix my fucking hand. You, not put you might well. Be, yeah, you might be able. Well, to, you, yeah, you might be able to help everybody. Um. Oh, okay, which, by I... the way, Evan, I forgot you need to take one more damage from bleeding. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have but, four uh, hit points left. Like no, I, five. Yeah, Sorry. Can I like roll to <laughs> help him, even though I don't have any uh, supplies for it? At this moment, you can't do I... shit to help him because he's on the yeah, ground. Yeah, I say not. You're up in not... This. Yeah, yeah. I say you can't do anything right now, but we can probably. Get him back to your your laboratory or whatever. Okay. I need to focus yeah. on that kind of shit then. Uh, yeah, but also right now you still have these sheep that are trying to kill still you. Two yeah, sheep. right Somebody now we're still sh- under attack. Where yeah, sheep? Yeah, yeah. But where sheep? If we can. Well, then where is a sheep? Let me I kill have... it. Oh, nat twenty. <laughs> nice. So speaking of nat twenty, never 20s, mind. Kevin just been killing the damn sheep. Sheep. Like, Nobody's business. You roll a natural twenty. Okay. Yeah. All right. So roll double uh, damage. For both, and since you 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 get so if you um you hit with your first attack, and since for your class you auto hit right for the right. next one, so right. roll just double damage Good for both. Lord. So double damage would just be four, but you know. Okay. Well, actually, no. I'll roll again. Hang on. No, no, it wouldn't be just four, right? Because it would. Oh, you mean I rolled a you two? Rolled. Right. So I rolled two two twos. So double. Well, no, it should be, be. It should be. Well, no, it should be. Um. Two die four or two die four each, so it should be four die four altogether, right? Because oh, it's I didn't double, roll another. It's double yeah, damage. Two. First one was twos. Oh, second ones were fours, so six and six. Okay, so there you go. You stab this sheep through the bottom jaw, rip its jaw yeah. in two, and just get underneath it and just jab it on the underside so many times that its guts just start spilling out onto the floor. And it's still alive for a few moments as it's like just screaming and like spasming and then just falls over. Yuck. Kevin's just covered in sheep blood because he's just been murdering all these people. (laughs) Yeah. What if you got a knife? Yeah, sheep slayer. (laughs) Two bone handle knives. Knives, yeah. <laughs> you should change your name, nice. to, name to Sheep Killer Pete. Nice. Um, so there's one sheep left, so you guys can deal with it how you Eel man stabbing like crazy. Um mm-hmm. yeah, I guess I haven't gone yet. Um I'm gonna throw my harpoon at it. Go for it. I'm gonna be done after sheep. Uh, Fourteen. Hell yeah, baby! Roll for damage. Well, for, sorry, fifteen is what it should have been because I didn't. Oh. I I said I had the wrong fucking. But still, I roll for damage. 
I got a beautiful beam damage. Roll that beautiful beam damage. That is two. All right, let me roll for his armor. Okay, so you fling your harpoon at the sheep. It stabs into its wool, uh, barnacle encrusted wool, and Bitch. you yank, yank away, and just a clump of uh, of its wool is on the end of your um, of uh, your harpoon, oh, and it just turns into yeah. a scream and it runs t- towards you with its head lowered. Um. So uh, come at me, Chris, boyo. So Chris, you still uh, you can still go, right? Yep. All right, I am going. I'm gonna go ahead with the axe. Okay. Got there. Fifteen. Okay. So uh, his attention is turned towards uh, Evan as it's trying to ram him, but uh, so you go ahead and hit. Um, roll for damage. Uh, two damage. How much? Uh, two. Okay. Um. So you slam your axe down and hit it in the back, and <clears throat> you hear some of the shells like crackle, and it screams and it slides across the floor, um, and then it turns its attention towards you. It's not dead yet. Um. So Aaron, um, you technically can act right now, but anything that you do beyond just like picking yourself up, um, or whatever is going to be a dr sixteen. Um, but you can act if you if you want. Um, I mean, I wouldn't advise probably getting into a fight with anybody, but uh, you because I mean, someone could blow on you and you would be dead. But you'll um, fall over. <laughs> yeah, got a fart left on you. Yeah. But yeah. you could command your skeleton to come down and rescue you. Mm. Or jump to. You. I have five medical kits. Oh shit! Sure. Uh, okay. There you go. Okay. There you go. Um, so let me find the medical kit real quick and we will see. Oh, wrong book. Hang on a second. We will see how exactly how those work because I'm not, I don't think anybody's, I think you maybe make a presence for us to use it or, or maybe that makes it sense. Work. Yeah. But let imagine. me see. Let me presence see or here. spirit, probably. Yeah. Uh, we come downstairs. He's kind of duct taping himself back together. Oh no! You actually, <laughs> yeah. You you actually don't have to um, make a test to use it. You just use it, and you'll heal D six HP. Um, Fuck. That's cool. But you still, uh, I mean. You can bandage yourself up, but that's not going to heal your internal injuries. So, like, you'll heal yourself a D6. You still have the hemorrhaging. Fine. Yeah, but you're still hurt really, really badly. And if you don't get actual treatment, you will die. Um, so, if you want to use that, you mark off the use of your um, medical kit and then just roll a D6, and that's how much HP you heal. Okay. I would do your first one for now just to save your ass until we can eventually get down there. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I got a three. Uh, what kind of test was it? It's not. Oh, you don't, you variables. actually don't have to make a, you actually don't have to make a test for, um, to use a medical kit. You just do it and then it heals you. If you, um, it, it does say stops bleeding and poison and infection, but, this is an internal injury. Yeah, that's um, not the same thing. Not an external injury. So, like, my bleeding hand, though. Stir- huh? My hand, on the other hand. Your hand, on the other hand, can be fixed with that. We could um, probably fix that. Yeah, but Oops. your, uh, but basically, you're gonna have to have surgery to get the hemorrhage situation taken care of. But anyway, so you heal three HP. You basically, you your shell is just cracked, so you bandage it up. You, you know, you set your broken limbs and you, and you man, you're in a lot of pain, but you stand up um, and uh, you call, 
you cough and, and you it lands the you know you cough into your hands blood um <laughs> you know and uh but as you're standing there very very badly hurt um you see running away from the door of the of the lighthouse it is a robed figure oh fuck they're not running in your direction they're running away but they're they're wearing like a uh a, like a dark brown um just like hood and robe. away from obviously you're saying aaron only sees this right yeah nobody else sees this just Aaron. right sees this. okay i'm gonna take a mental note of that for now, so I can warn everybody later. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Um, and then since I healed three, would that make my HP three or four? Uh, it's I, it's three because it's three because when you took damage, that wiped out all of your HP oh, right. you to zero. Um, but so now you're at three. Okay. So so you are slightly better off than you were but you still if like i said if you don't get surgery in an hour you still will die um but you are not but you are at least a little bit better temporarily like you if someone did attack you they're not necessarily going to kill you instantly although you still have dr16 to your agility test if you were had to dodge you know um i want to run down and try save them okay but there's still a sheep in there there's still a sheep in there Uh, it it all gone, so it's sheep turns, right? Oh, so it's sheep turn. Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, Chris, you hit the sheep last, so it's going to go for you. So make an agility test. <clears throat> uh, eight. eight. Shit. Okay. The sheep <laughs> throws itself at you and tries to bite you in the face. Uh, roll for your armor. Uh, two. Okay. Um. So it bites at you. Um. It bites on it like you're as you're trying to wrestle with it. It bites part of your ear. You take one point damage as it rips part of your earlobe off. Um. And I already I had you make a. a, a uh, I already had you make a toughness test before, so I'm not gonna make you. So you don't have to take it again. Um. Or make it again. Even though you failed last time, but that'll just have that'll just have a consequence for later. Anyway, uh, so now the sheep is gone. What's everybody gonna do? Just gang up on the sheep? Fuck it. I'm up. gonna stab the sheep yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna surround the some bitch and fucking yeah, so fifteen stabity stabity. Four, While they're doing that, I'm gonna run down there. Okay, that's a good. What'd idea. you? What'd you get, Kevin? A three and a four. Oh, damage? Yeah. I uh, rolled okay. a 50 to hit. Okay. Okay. Um, you, as the sheep is wrestling with Chris, and as it bit off part of his earlobe, uh, you just take both your knives across its throat and slit it from ear to ear, and just nasty purple goo yeah. comes out of its neck hole all over Chris's face. And the <laughs> sheep is dead. <laughs> Yes, and you, gross. You basically <laughs> turned it into a Pez dispenser. <laughs> uh, uh, so now combat is over. What are you guys going to... I know Corey is running downstairs to tend to Aaron. What is everyone else doing? Um, I want to fucking wrap up my hand so it's not bleeding all over the place. Okay, so I'm, gonna be, done. I'm gonna be done What's after that? I see what I can do okay. there. Uh so um Evan it, actually if you Evan if you want to make a presence test to perform um first aid on yourself just like a little rat or whatever, if you succeed, yeah. uh you'll just stop the bleeding. So make it a make yeah. um, a presence test. I know I need to do I I wanna do one of those med kits, <laughs> but I also don't want to wait several like the the three rounds that it'll take me to get downstairs yeah and i'm yeah. still bleeding yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that it for presence that is uh 14 okay so you managed to 
just sort of take a, you rip off a piece of uh, cloth and you wrap it around your hand and bind it tight so the bleeding stops. Still hurts yeah. like a bitch, but at least you're not bleeding everywhere. Um, I've, I've only got four hit points left. <laughs> yeah. So uh, <laughs> me too. Corey, Corey, you're running <laughs> downstairs to <laughs> to help um, Aaron make an agility test. If, once you get downstairs and get to that slippery floor and you're hauling ass, it could be a problem. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I just remembered something. As you're running downstairs, uh, before you get to the slippery floor, you see uh, Derek is laying on the ground and he's got a dart sticking out of his neck. Um, and he appears to be unconscious. Uh, I rolled a 17. I'm just going to name it. Okay. So you see him laying there, but you just book it and you you slide across the ground, but you use your momentum to just jump the rest of the way through the door and you run out towards him. And you see Aaron just standing there, just bleeding. He's got his arm like um sort of like in a makeshift sling. He's got like his shell is cracked, but it's bandaged up. You see like bits of broken glass sticking in his shell, like this big chunk, like a big shard of it is sticking in his shell. And he's like just he's sliced up, his exposed like his scales and stuff and skin are just sliced up from the from the glass, but he's still alive. I want to fix them up. Okay. Um, are you going to just perform surgery on them right now? Like just field surgery, essentially? If uh, we can kind of cut out the middle man and know like what kind of surgery I need to do, then yeah. Um, so make, in a, make a presence test to give him like a diagnosis. Or prognosis. Diagnosis. 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 The prognosis, prognosis would be the what he finds out. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, you're diagnosing 19. him and then you're going to give him his prognosis. 19? Correct. Right. <laughs> okay. So you figure out he has internal bleeding. Um, in your medical bag, you can do a crude um, surgery on him. You're going to have to kind of tie higher than normal, um, but you definitely can do it. Um so just uh, go ahead and if you want to do that for him right now, get him to bite down on something as you're going to, you know, <laughs> yeah, take him under the knife. Well, fine. All right, baby. All right, roll. Stick. Roll. Let me know what you get. Stick. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Michael. A natural 20. Yeah. Oh, okay. hey. All right. <laughs> you doctor him up and you and Michael, you are still at three HP, but you are no longer dying. Nice. He, re he removes the pieces of shell or of a glass that are in your body. Um, he, you know, d like clean, he basically like pinches your bleeding blood vessels and, and the uh, arteries closed. He uses some like crude staples. Um, he gives you a slug of uh, of booze, um, and you are hurt, but you are alive. Um, Man, you also they... now now where your shell was was cracked, you have like a piece of metal that he kind of just sort of hammered <laughs> into your back to like reinforce your your shell and to to uh. Um, make sure that it will heal together. But you are alive. Um, cool, that's awesome. And uh, nice. so, so Kevin and and Chris, what are you guys going to do? I know we got to, I know we got to cut this off here in a second because Corey's got to go. But uh, and uh, Evan and Chris and Kevin, what do you guys want to do? And I, and actually, Aaron, you can do something too. I if flex you want. Toby, and then I proceed to look around if there's anything worth looting. I mean, and by looting, I mean. Uh, look for for historical value so uh, we could give it to his descendants when we find them eventually. Obviously. I'm going to loot that old man's corpse oh. and I'm not going to doctor up because he was a jerk. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to stop him from doing that. Anybody but. who's looting, roll a D100. Oh, dang. I dropped him. Uh, 47. 47. Uh, 39. Um, as you're rummaging around, 
you find this deep green gemstone that is worth 100 silver. Oh, hello. Uh, Captain, what did you get? I got a 39. As you're looking around through his things, you find this very beautiful, and as you pull on it, like, ear it, like, as you stroke it, iridescent parrot feather. She gives you plus one devil's luck each dawn. Ooh. Oh, um, snap. Evan, what did you get? 59. 59. You find stashed away in a corner a little chest with a bag full of 59 silver. Sweet. Okay. That's cool. And, I'm going to buy uh, a flask and a good supply. Yeah. Aaron, Aaron and, <laughs> and uh, Corey, what are you guys doing? You're just outside. Uh, Aaron, you're still very sore. You don't have the DR-16. I'll be right back. Okay. You don't have the DR-16 for uh, tests. Um, uh, so you can actually act. Uh, your skeleton, after a while, comes downstairs and just walks up to you. And looks you over, and just, and then he gives you a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, I was gonna hang out with Aaron too. It was, that was a lot, you know, surgery. Yeah, you're covered in turtle blood, like just completely covered. So, uh, what do you guys say we head back? into town, go to the inn, get a good night's rest. I don't know how much, how much does the inn cost for the night? Oh, the last um, time we stayed there, it was free. Yeah. True. So we'll just have He's to a very nice guy. Yeah. He's got a broken hand now from where Toby uh, tumbled onto his uh, digits, but yeah. um, Oh, also, uh, Aaron, do you want to tell them about the figure or no? Oh yes. Um, I uh, I saw a hooded figure running from the lighthouse. Um, oh, yeah. a, as I was laying there dying. What a jerk! He didn't even stop to help. Yeah. Okay. Um, could have been my imagination from bleeding out, but looked like something. To take seriously, potentially. Well, there's only one way to rent hooded figures from getting back to the lighthouse, and that's by throwing a lit torch into that pile of oil. So I'm gonna go do that. We did see Derek in this with a dart in his neck, right? Did you guys drag yes, him as out? As you guys, yes. As you guys are walking downstairs, you see Derek laying there. Right. He has success. He had successfully constructed his shield, but is laying beside him as he's laying on the ground unconscious with a dart in his neck. Okay, so let's I'm drag him out of there. Drag him out and then set it on fire. <laughs> Okay. That's right. that's who shot him, man. That cloaked fig, the cloaked figure running away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a dangerous thing to leave lying around is cloaked figures. Yeah, it's, yes. It's a health and safety hazard. This is true. You can't trust the cloaked figure. No. That's so what's this uh, more? Yeah. Uh Beatrice is uh is very happy that everyone survived. Um she can lug Derek around if you want. She can just like hold him over oh, yeah. her shoulder. And uh, she goes over, Evan, she looks at your hand and she like turns her head from side to side and she kind of whimpers and she, with her human-esque hand, she like picks her hand up and looks at it and rubs it up against yeah. the side of her head. Aww. Yeah, I, I know, sweetheart. I'm going to see what I can do about that. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. And uh, so you guys are headed towards the end and then we'll just, is that correct? Is that what you guys want to do? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So as you guys are walking away, uh, oh yeah. So the tower on fire first. Throws a torch in there. The whole place goes up in a small amount of time and then explodes as you guys are walking down the depot. <laughs> depot who actually did fall asleep, um, and he sees Evan because he'd seen Evan before and he knows that he's an officer. He puts his arms up. He's like, "I didn't do nothing." <laughs> <laughs> and that's I'm just gonna laugh at that too. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, laugh at the we'll laugh at the burning lighthouse and laugh at the boy with his hands up. <laughs> and that's all I'm gonna watch. do. And this building is on fire now. What did you learn? 
<laughs> what did you learn? He you says, wake up. You uh, don't fall asleep on watch. <laughs> he says explosions are badass. That is exactly <laughs> what you learned. Well done. Correct. Correct. Um, he does tell you though that he did catch uh three fish. So um so he says dinner's on him. <laughs> nice. That's the least you can oh. do. And uh so this has been our Condor and Crows petrifying petrifying pirate bullshit bonanza or whatever we're calling it. Extravaganza. Uh, so I hope that this was enjoyable. Uh my brain is always kind of scattered. Um so Everything's kind of chaotic, but that's the way I like it. Um, does anybody have anything they want to plug or or draw attention to or bitch about before we go? Yes. Um, this is more just to let Corey know. I just read that the USA Mullet Championship qualifiers is going to be at the Indiana State Fair on Saturday. I know. So I saw show up, boy. You better show I up, boy. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm low tier right now. They give me a year. You gotta I let can... it grow, baby. Yeah, You're, yeah. That's you. You will have to let it grow a little bit longer. I what, just what started. Hearing, you're issuing him a challenge for next year, is what I'm hearing. Dude, yeah, yeah dude, me, right on, man. Put the gauntlet down, and <laughs> smacking him in the face. It's and he has to grow out that majestic lot. It's not gonna go down. It's just gonna go out. Yeah, let that Kentucky waterfall just flow, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm here. laughs> nice. Uh, same things, you know, the Monster Masters podcast. And yeah. again, this uh, coming weekend, I'll be at the Fire Up Downtown Fest doing palm readings and beetle readings. That's right. Go see them. Come through. Come through. Check out beautiful Muncie. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, get your palm read. See some beetles. Listen to Monster Mashers. Mm -hmm. um, support your animal shelters. Uh, support your local library. Uh, what else? What else do we got? Um, I was going to say the animal shelter and uh, ours. Yeah. And just be nice to everybody. Be just nice. Be Check nice. your blood sugar. Check it often. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> be excellent to each other. Blood sugar with a yeah, be excellent to each other. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be a don't be a butthole, man. Just be chill. <laughs> if you cool, feel man. like you're getting real shitty, just have some Doritos and a cup of water. You'll be fine. Yeah, oddly enough, yeah. A little bit of a sense. little bit of saltiness, a little bit of cheesiness, and then wash it down with some water. Um, not tap though. No, God no. Uh. Not tap. <laughs> but how but then you also get all the lead I about... need? I agree. Well, Never drink yeah. tap water. Well, yeah, you gotta have that lead, man. Yeah, these makes you get you strong bones. Yeah. Or soft bones. It's so the I aliens can't read my mind because my bones are lined with lead. Uh, there you that go. Makes oh yeah, that makes total and if sense, you man. Have lead bones, the elephants won't fuck with you, man. Yeah, it's just that much more dense. Did the elephant part get cut? Wait, wait. I just realized that the elephant part get cut. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure that's still in there. We honestly, we had a whole. If bit not, we'll just have to reintroduce that bit somewhere at some point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway with that i've been condor and i'm yeah. crow and this is a thing and, we did uh, this is the thing we did and that we're gonna do until everyone dies bye, <laughs> bye. i love you later all how the hell do i get out of